Hey, what's up? This is Jeff from BKJ Mac TV, and I'm here to report some great news. New York has finally picked sports operators to launch the state's first billion dollar sports betting market basically aka you go, you're going to be able to bet on your phone absolutely the article is by will yalvix new york state regulators approved online sports betting licenses for nine operators on monday including DraftKings, fanduel resort world and mgm and many others the legalization of online sports betting in New York is a big deal. Come after this deal was set. There are 32 states that have legalized sports betting in the United States, but only 18 that have legalized mobile wagering. New York's online sports betting market is expected to hit $1 billion in annual revenue. I'm going to say it again, $1 billion in annual revenue, according to the state. Also, in 2025, the numbers will start to hit at 493 million dollars half a almost half a billion dollars while mobile sports betting was made legal in april by former governor andrew cuomo it's been legal to place in-person bets on sports in the state for years but since the nearest casino to new york city to wager on sports is a two-hour drive to resorts world cat skills most sports gamblers chose to cross the Hudson River to New Jersey to place bets on their phones, which legalized online sports betting in 2018. In fact, an estimated 20% of the sports betting action in New Jersey comes from New Yorkers crossing the state border. So that lets you know that New York was losing a lot of the action to New Jersey when it you know, legalized online sports betting in 2018. But now New York, since New York has done it and it's moving in pace to by January 1st to start opening the system, it's going to be pandemonium, pandemonium. Many people are going to be able to place bets on the NFL, the NBA, soccer, uh, many other sports, boxing, etc, etc. The New York State Gaming Commission approved 10-year licenses for two groups of gambling companies consisting of nine operators. So now we know Caesar Sportsbook and Wayne Interactive, you know, the one with Shaq and the Ben Affleck commercial, are really going to be in the forefront of this new venture in New York. The other group that won a license applied under FanDuel includes Bally's, BetMGM, and DraftKings. The privilege to operate a legal sports book in the Empire State comes with a high price. Sports books will be taxed on 51% of the gross gambling revenue, which is extremely high for the industry. Let's be honest, New York wants a big piece of that pie and they want 51% to start this to start this new venture. Um typically the tax is around 11%, but New York and New Hampshire charge the highest which is kind of crazy but you know it's New York and they're gonna do what they gotta do to make money I'm licensing fee 25 million dollar licensing fee which is crazy 25 million one-time licensing fee still thanks to a population of nearly 20 million that state is a promised market for the industry basically they're saying they're gonna be able to eat that 25 million dollar one-time fee in order to market and gain from all the prospective money that's about to come in into the into the sports betting industry we believe new york represents one of the most attractive sports betting states given its population wealth income and sports culture a note published by the state magazine there is no formal timeline for the program to launch but in may state lawmakers hope to award licenses by january 1st and expect that gamblers will be able to place bets by the 2022 Super Bowl. You heard it, you heard it, folks. January 1st, 2022. That's a, a month and some change away. Sports betting coming to the Big Apple. People will be able to place it on their phones. The next step in the regulatory process is for the winners to find a facility to house the service, and the New York State Gaming Commission will need to approve those locations. The service needs to be in one of the state's four commercial casinos by law. The operators are required to pay a $5 million annual fee to the casino that houses its service. Despite 32 states now having legal sports betting markets, illicit sports betting is still alive and well. 
According to the AGA's annual national survey of bettors in the United States, almost 7 million Americans will place a bet with a bookie, up 13% from 2020, while nearly 11 million gamblers will bet at a physical sports book, which is up 58% from 2020. But as New York goes legal, $1 billion in revenue will be taken from the illegal sports book. Importantly, mobile sports betting allows regulated sports books to better compete and push out the predatory and pervasive illegal market, AGA Senior Vice President Casey Clark said in a statement. Basically, they're going to be taking a big chunk out of the underground in sports betting and making sure that money goes to big things like education, infrastructure throughout the state of New York. So, like I said, people are willing to bet. New York needs the money. Um, New York has bills to pay. People got the bread. Let's get it. If people need money. Let's get it done. Um, can't wait to start betting. It's going to be a big, big, big year for online sports betting. Um, let's get it. Let's start it. Can't wait to see you there. BKJ My TV for more news and insights. Uh, thank you for listening.